This video shows the recent release of the tomb from the Hearst Arts ter terrain line, uh, manufactured based on Hearst Arts plans and molds. Uh, one of the differences from traditional Hearst Arts assembly, however, is that as uh, Terranscapes is used in other Hearst Arts products, this has been cast by solid wall casting, meaning that many of the pieces have been cast as a single piece, the pillars, the wall, the entire tomb uh, sarcophagi inside, all of the walls here, the roof piece as well. Single wall casting, meaning that there are no gaps in between the pieces. They're cast as a whole piece all in one go, which produces a very nice seam in between and eliminates some of the gaps that can appear in block-by-block -block assembly in traditional Hearst Arts products. The mold has been, or I'm sorry, the uh, kit has been uh, changed slightly by the addition of a different flooring and has also been aged slightly with some chips and some weathering, uh, very slightly though, uh, but just to give it a bit of an aged appearance, I think overall it adds to the tomb's uh, mystique. The tomb is considerably larger than it may first appear, as is shown by placing a model next to it. Uh, this is the Dark Elf Sorceress from the Dark Elves Warhammer Fantasy. She's a 28 millimeter model, but to the top of her staff is probably uh, at least 35 millimeters or more, and you can see that the tomb is quite large compared to her and really stands above her and gives a very nice visual impression You know, when viewed from, say, the model's eye view. The roof is uh, removable so that models can be placed inside, skirmishers, etc., allowing for easier movement and play. And really, this is a great piece to release at this time, as the new Vampire Counts Army coming out, or recent release, I should say, uh, makes this a fantastic centerpiece to have Vampire Counts player playing around. But it also works well for role-playing games, and the new release of the upcoming version of Dungeons & Dragons makes this a great piece to have for that as well. Of course, if you want to see up-close photos and uh, pricing for this model, you can visit Terranscapes.com and see it in the new release section or in the structure section.